subtitles can be really useful to have in your videos. The only problem is before they used to be really tedious, you have to go in and type in every line. But nowadays with automation, it's a lot easier. And especially in DaVinci Resolve, they have some really cool features to make it a lot easier for you to transcribe your videos and also add subtitles to your videos in literally seconds. So what I want to do today is show you guys how to use it for your own videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, we are over here in DaVinci Resolve and what we want to do is create some subtitles. First of all, what we're going to do is go ahead and select what we want to actually make captions for here in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm just going to set an in and out point. And you can do that by hitting I and O on your keyboard. So I'm just going to translate this little, you know, 30 second clip right here. So then what we're going to do is go up over here to timeline and then create subtitles from audio. And now you've got a few options here. Um, for language, the only option right now is English, but they're probably going to add more eventually, I would imagine. Um, caption preset is subtitle default, teletext, or Netflix. Really, the difference between this is the character count. So you can see for teletext, it's 37, and for subtitle, it's 42. And Netflix is also going to be 42 characters. Honestly, just keep it in subtitle default. And then once you have everything set up the way you want, you're going to go to create. And then it's going to load for a little bit and it's going to take, depending on how long your clip is, um, a few minutes maybe. And you can see just like that, we have our subtitles here. And you can see it's actually really accurate, especially with the commas and the punctuation and everything. And again, we did this all without having to do any work. We had to click a few buttons and then our uh, subtitles just appeared. So this is a really awesome feature. And now you can see we have our captions up here. But what if we don't want to have this sort of bland font? Well, what we can do is we can go over to the subtitle track and we can go over here to track and then we can adjust the settings for our entire track. So we can change our font to whatever we want. We can also change the color down here. You can of course adjust the size. Um, you can come down and adjust the position down here. So if you want to move them down a little bit, there you go. You can adjust the opacity. And below that, you can also add a drop shadow. And a drop shadow is just going to make it a little bit easier for your viewer to uh, read the text if it's if there's not a lot of contrast. So that can really help out your subtitles and make them more readable. Um, you can also add in a background here. So again, that's going to help with readability. Um, and you can change your color and whatever else you want to do. There you go. Now you can see as we play through the video, um, these subtitles are going to be exported right into our video file. So we don't have to do anything else. All right. So that's how you do our subtitles. But now let's say you needed to get a whole transcript of your video. You can actually do that built into DaVinci Resolve. So what we want to do in order to do that is I'm going to select my timeline and then I'm going to transcribe the audio up here by clicking this little button. Then it's going to take a little bit depending on how long your clip is. All right, guys, and this window is going to pop up once it's done. And you can go in here and you can actually click on these letters and go to that spot in the video. It's really cool. So if you wanted to, for example, search for when I said DaVinci Resolve, I could go up here to this hourglass. It's going to open up the search window and I can type in DaVinci. I can spell DaVinci right. All right, and then there you go. Now you can see. Um, if I wanted to go see when I said it, I could click on it and it would take me right there. And if you highlight the text, it's actually going to create an in and out point based on what you select on your text here. And you can go up here to share and you can actually export your captions so you can upload them to YouTube or whatever. Or if you just need a transcript, then you can do that too. So yeah, guys, you can see that this is a super powerful feature in DaVinci Resolve and it's really nice to have. Um, and this is available in the free version too. So you essentially get this for free. It's really cool. Um, but anyways, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys later.